The officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Guys, let's get right into it. When a big fight falls apart at the last minute, the undercard fighters are usually the fall guys. When the eagerly awaited WBA light heavyweight title eliminator between Dan Aziz and Joshua Boatsy was postponed earlier this week, it would have been no surprise had the entire show been shelved. Thankfully, the undercard was saved and moved just a few miles north to the historic York Hall in Bethel Green. At Featherweight, Kara's Arding stole five wins, zero losses, one by way of knockout, got the show underway and remained unbeaten, taking apart Vanessa Bradford in two one-sided rounds. Bradford found herself on the floor less than a minute into the fight. A sharp, straight southpaw left hand dumping her on the canvas in her own corner. Bradford never really got over it. Arden stole calmly, stalked Bradford, landing virtually every shot she threw. Another hard left hand dropped Bradford in the second, and after two toured rounds, the Canadian was wisely retired in her corner. This was an impressive, ruthless performance from the 2020 Olympic bronze medalist. The durable Canadian is a trier who generally comes unstuck when she steps up in level and she had no answer for Arding Stoll's mixture of power and precision. Also on the card, a fired up Joe Laws, 14 wins, 2 losses, 5 by way of knockout, stepped in on a few days notice to upset Michael Hennessy Jr. over 8 entertaining rounds. Michael Hennessy Jr. drops to 11 wins, 2 losses, 1 draw, 2 by way of knockout. Hennessy Jr., 168 pounds, was initially scheduled to take on Harley Benn, but the Londoners late withdrawal gave Laws 165 pounds the chance to reinvigorate his career. Laws promised to bring it and make the most of his unexpected opportunity, and he let his hands go in the opener, loading up on the hooks and hoping to draw the taller, rangier Hennessy into a brawl. Hennessy calmed, boxed his way through Law's flurries, and by the end of the round, he felt comfortable enough to drop his hands and pick away with straight shots as Law's allowed his back to hit the ropes. Maybe worried about his fitness having taken the fight on short notice, Law's rationed his attacks more in the second. He did land a nice right hand, but he wasn't making Hennessy work hard enough for his own success. It was a controlled work from Hennessy, began to put together short, sharp bursts of his own. The pattern continued through the third. Hennessy seemed to have made a breakthrough as the round ended, and he held his feet and let his punches go. Bravely, Laws dug his toes into the canvas and fired back. Laws carried the momentum into the fourth. He neglected his jab, but put everything into his sporadic bursts. For the first time, Hennessy just began to look a little bit disorganized at times and seemed a little more focused on defense than his own attack. Hennessy regained an element of control in the fifth, but never looked totally comfortable, and Laws snatched back the initiative in the sixth. Law's bursts may have been less frequent now, but they were consistent and his shots were the more eye-catching and Hennessy was giving up his physical advantages too easily. Maybe realizing that the fight was in the balance, Hennessy upped his work rate in the seventh, but every time he held his feet and put together more than a single shot, Laws fired back with his own shots. The man from Benwell did feel a body shot at the end of the round, but retaliated with a hard right hand himself. Just like the rest of the fight, the eighth was the battle between Hennessy's short snappy punches and more correcting boxing and Law's fully committed attacks and determination. After eight rounds, Law was given a 77-75 decision. Referee Bob Williams preferring Law's aggression and heavier, more eye-catching work. That was an upset. That was definitely an upset. I don't think anyone saw that one coming, but Law's fought a good fight. Actually, the whole fight was a great fight. They were just going at it, but um, you know, we don't we don't know what's next. We don't know what's next. Uh, you know, this was a late step in. Maybe um, Harley Ben will end up fighting uh, Hennessy Jr. just to get that fight going, since there was a small build up. But we don't know what's next, guys. Congratulations to Laws on a great performance 
and let us know who you want to see Laws fight next and who do you want to see Hennessy fight next. Let us know in the comments below. Also, congratulations to Karis Ardingstall. We know that Karis Ardingstall uh, is early into her career, but she did have a great amateur career. Um, one of her amateur uh, victories was against Sky Nicholson, who is the WBC interim featherweight champion, going to fight Amanda Serrano early 2024, so, and is an Olympian. So let us know guys in the comments below who you wanna see Karis Ardingstall fight next. Congratulations to Laws and Ardingstall. Uh, you can find us on Instagram at Sportbox TV official, X formerly known as Twitter at Sportbox TV. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. We appreciate all of the support. Take care.